I'm Wyatt Andrews, and it's the cutting edge in higher education. A master's degree in what? Video games. This is the CBS Evening News with Bob Schieffer. And still to come, a master's degree in video games. It's not as silly as it sounds. Our Eye on America series, The New Graduate, comes next. We close tonight with the latest in high-tech and higher education. The generation that grew up playing video games is turning them into serious business. And colleges are taking it seriously, too. Wyatt Andrews has the first of our week-long Eye on America series on The New Graduate. This is a video game, and you are a firefighter responding to a terrorist attack in the subway. We have two members in position already for decon. You see an unknown gas, and then <coughs> you see victims. What kind of gas? I'm choosing a light green gas, which could be a chlorine gas. To the artist developing this game, like Shauna Tellerman, this wasn't just fun. You're getting your master's degree based on this game? Yep, pretty much. A master's from Carnegie Mellon University in what's called entertainment technology. Translation in video games. Clearly, this is not your father's college campus. These students have built a robot to study video animatronics in another class. Okay. So you're basically going to play as a Jedi. So Student Zach Pavlov gave me a lightsaber lesson using virtual reality. Excellent job. What did I do? You, you defeated the droid. I bounced the light. Uh, Who knew? It's all high energy, but is this academics? This is about building real things that really affect people. Professor Jesse Schell, a veteran of Disney, calls video game development the uh, so dominant art form of the century. You would agree that, that writing and art and film and engineering are all valid academic pursuits. This really is just a combination of those with psychology thrown in. Colleges are offering this because it's what the students want, but it's also where the money is. The video game industry last year was worth what? Almost 25 billion. Almost 25 billion, which exceeded the box office receipts from the film industry. To the older crowd, of course, too many video games, like this one, feature too much carnage. But to these students, carnage is not where the industry is going. They're building the firefighter game, in fact, to help train the New York Fire Department's hazmat team. These professionals, who train in real life for gas attacks, believe the video game will save lives. It gives us the ability to run scenario repeatedly over and over again. We would never be able to repeat the, the number and the types of scenarios that we can generate in the computer out in training. Do you think this is the future? Yes, I think, I think this is going to be the future of education and the future of training. Which is why more and more graduate students see themselves as players in the future of American industry. In Pittsburgh, Wyatt Andrews for Eye on America. <laughs> And that's the news. I'm Bob Schieffer, CBS News in New York.